Our lesson today is about reading line plots. A line plot, a line plot uses x's above a number line to represent data. Let's read the first problem together. Mr. Harris took a poll to find out the number of beds the students in his classroom have. The line plot shows the data he collected. This is our line plot. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which represent the number of beds. And each x represents one student. One student. So, when we see a mark above a number, it tells us how many times that number occurs. For example, we can see that above the number 2, we have four x's. 1, 2, 3, 4, which means which means there are four students that have two bits, two bits. So, with this information, guys, can you tell me how many students have one bit? Look here, we stop at one, so count the x's. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. So, we have five students. Question number two. What is the greatest number of bits that any of the students have? Look here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the number of bits. So, the greatest number here is 6, but no students here. So, the greatest number of bits that any of the students have is 5 bits. Let's move to the next question. How many students have 4 bits? Let's stop at 4. We don't have here any x's. So, 0 students. Do all the students in the class have a bit? and explain of course no why because if you look at zero zero means no pets here so we have five students have zero bits so not all of the students is in class and the class have a bit the next question ellie measured all of his pencils to the nearest inch he made a line plot to show his data look here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These numbers are the length in inches, and each x represent one pencil. One pencil. Let's read. Let's read our questions. How many pencils does Ellie have in his desk in all? I need the number of pencils in all. So we should count all of the x's. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six pencils in all. What is the difference in length between Ellie's longest pencil and his shortest pencil? Look here. This is the length, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the shortest one, the shortest pencil is one? No, because we don't have here any pencils. So the shortest pencil here is two. And the longest pencil is six. So the difference means minus. So it's a 6 minus 2 equals 4 inches. Thank you for watching me.